I'm about to tell you the truth about the tinnitus cure that you're looking for. Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus, and in today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, can you even cure tinnitus? Chances are, if you're watching this video, then you know exactly what tinnitus is and how disturbing it can be. But just in case you don't know what tinnitus is and what causes it, tinnitus is a ringing, buzzing, or humming sound that you can hear, but it isn't actually present in your environment. Tinnitus can vary in pitch, volume, and level of annoyance. Some people are very easily able to just ignore their tinnitus, while other people are absolutely driven nuts by it. Researchers estimate that nearly 750 million adults worldwide have some level of tinnitus. In the United States, almost 15% of adults report having tinnitus, with about 2% reporting severe tinnitus. And this problem is expected to grow significantly in the coming years due to the sheer amount of things that cause tinnitus. These things include hearing loss, loud noise exposure, ototoxic medications, TMJ disorder, head and neck injuries or strain, and even issues with blood pressure regulation. Basically, tinnitus is a huge problem and it's only getting worse. And this means that everyone is looking for a tinnitus cure. That means that finding a cure for tinnitus is a big business that a lot of people are trying to cash in on. With one quick Google search for tinnitus cure under the shopping tab, I was met with thousands of results all promising tinnitus relief, and some going as far as to claim that they are a legit cure. Some of these cures included supplements, sprays, drops, inhalers, patches, lasers, and acupressure devices. And some of them even look and sound promising enough to try out, especially if they have compelling testimonials. And if your tinnitus is bad enough, other potential cures that might seem a little crazy start looking like reasonable options worthy of taking a chance on. And you know what? The placebo effect is strong, sometimes even strong enough to make you believe that your tinnitus is gone. And if that's the case for you, then congrats, because I am a firm believer that you should do whatever works best for you. However, the fact of the matter is that these cures are not regulated by the FDA. They also have not been validated by research, nor have they proven to be effective. More often than not, these sometimes pretty expensive cures leave you lighter in the pocketbook at best. Or worse, they may make you give up on ever trying to find a treatment option for your tinnitus. This is because you no longer trust anything else that you might see even if it may ultimately work for you. The fact is, no matter what Google may recommend to you, there has been no tinnitus treatment that is proven to cure tinnitus. And I mean, I'm an audiologist who specializes in managing tinnitus. And even I am telling you that no matter how much I wish I did, even I don't have a cure for you. So no, there isn't a pill or an eardrop that's just gonna wipe away your tinnitus overnight. But that doesn't mean that there aren't valid research-backed ways to get some relief. Now, before I jump into some of these effective treatment options, please give this video a thumbs up to help bring videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Let me know in the comment section below what tinnitus cures you You've tried in the past and what worked for you and what didn't. One effective research-backed tinnitus treatment is sound therapy. Sound therapy is the use of external sounds to reduce the perception or distress that can be caused by tinnitus. This is often administered through hearing aids, a sound generator, headphones or earbuds, an air purifier or fan, or even just natural environmental sounds like a stream of water. For instance, instead of trying to fall asleep or relax to that ringing or buzzing sound in your head, sound therapy can be used to keep your ears and your brain distracted with something a little bit more soothing. This might be something like ocean waves or a crackling fire. If you're getting ready for the day or you're on your drive to work, you might use sounds that are a little bit more interesting, like an audiobook or a podcast or a radio show. Whether this sound therapy is prescribed by a tinnitus specialist or not, sound therapy is incredibly effective and oftentimes it doesn't even cost you a penny. 
Another proven tinnitus treatment that I'm going to share with you today is the Lanier tinnitus treatment device from Neuromod, today's video sponsor. Lanier uses something called bimodal neuromodulation, meaning it stimulates two sensory pathways at the same time. The first is your auditory pathway through personalized sound therapy designed specifically for how you hear. The second is the somatosensory pathway, which includes electrical stimulation of the tongue via the tongue tip stimulator. The coordinated stimulation between both helps to retrain how your brain perceives tinnitus and can result in significant relief if you have moderate or worse disturbance from your tinnitus in just 12 weeks. Now, bimodal neuromodulation using Lanier sounds great, but does the research support it? I'll let you decide for yourself. In the most recent TENT A3 controlled clinical trial for Lanier, 70.5% of treatment compliant participants with moderate or worse tinnitus gained a clinically meaningful reduction in tinnitus when sound therapy alone provided no meaningful benefit. On top of that, 88.6% of these patients would recommend Lanier to treat tinnitus, which means that even if some didn't receive a clinically meaningful reduction in their tinnitus, they still felt that using Lanier for tinnitus had value. What's even more impressive is that even the majority of treatment participants who were already receiving benefit from sound therapy alone were able to gain additional benefit with the addition of stimulating the somatosensory pathway using Lanier. And even though we can't technically call this a cure, treatment success numbers like this are unheard of when it comes to tinnitus treatments. In fact, the data obtained was so impressive that the FDA actually granted de novo approval for the Lanier tinnitus treatment device in 2023. This makes it the only FDA approved bimodal tinnitus treatment device in the United States. Now, if you would like to find a professional who specializes in treating tinnitus using the Lanier tinnitus treatment device, make sure you head over to www.lanier.com that will also be linked down in the description below. Another tried and true tinnitus treatment backed by research is cognitive behavioral therapy or CBT. CBT is a great way to improve the relationship between your thoughts, your feelings, and your behaviors. Because tinnitus can be so annoying, it can be easy to get caught up in negative thought patterns over time that can make your tinnitus even seem worse. Reframing these negative thoughts and feelings into more positive and productive behaviors can give you a much better chance at seeing relief from your tinnitus. CBT is often administered in person or virtually via a mental health professional, but there's been a recent rise in the use of digital therapeutics. These are app-based programs that can teach you more about CBT. They can even give you more stress reduction strategies like meditation, progressive muscle relaxation, guided imagery, and more. And they come with the convenience of being able to complete these modules and activities from the comfort of your own home and on your own schedule. Another great tinnitus management option is tinnitus retraining therapy or TRT. TRT combines the use of sound therapy with cognitive behavioral therapy techniques. This often means wearing hearing aids that have been programmed to provide pleasant or soothing sounds. You'll also be completing activities and attending follow-ups that address improving thoughts and behaviors around tinnitus. TRT programs are often administered by audiologists who specialize in TRT. They may also include the expertise of a mental health professional as well. Perhaps one of the most popular and widely utilized tinnitus treatment options is hearing aids. A whopping 90% of people with tinnitus also have some level of hearing loss. Research shows that for about 70% of people with both, well-programmed hearing aids can significantly reduce bothersome tinnitus. This is because hearing aids can help return missing speech and environmental sounds back to the brain. With this returned sound, the brain doesn't notice your tinnitus as often. And in some cases, it can even silence it entirely when the hearing aids are worn. These approaches to tinnitus management have all been studied extensively, and they're proven to result in real improvements if you suffer from tinnitus. But you still can't call them a cure. Regardless, if your goal is the same as millions of other people worldwide who are looking for relief from that ringing or buzzing sound in their head, you have numerous viable options to consider. Just don't fall for the promise of a tinnitus cure because it just doesn't exist yet.